What it do, what it do, fam? It's your boy, King Delight. And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you're old to the channel, not new, then you know what this channel is about to do. So today, we're going to be talking about a topic about a, what was that, 49-year-old Niles Taylor who was, you know, southbound on the, what was that? A subway train on second Saturday afternoon, you know, as he lit, you know, and some, had some liquid throwing it on, on, on someone and he set him on fire. So, and this is not the only time that he did this. We're going to watch this video here and um, we're going to come back and, um, you know, I'm going to, um, and we're going to talk about this. Okay. So stay tuned. of setting a subway rider on fire, causing significant burns to the victim's body. And police tell us the same sus suspect was behind a similar attack. CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal has that story from Lower Manhattan. It happened here on Saturday afternoon at the Halston Street Station platform on the one train line. Officers were called here on this holiday weekend for an assault in progress to find 23-year-old Patrit Aliyai with his shirt off and burns. Investigators say a homeless man, now identified as Niall Taylor, threw a flammable liquid on the victim for no reason and took off. It's horrifying. Some subway riders like Chloe Leone are on guard when underground. Hopefully people are traveling in pairs so that they can stay safe. I'm praying for the person who was burned. It's very tragic. Now, this isn't the first time Taylor has done this. Detectives say back in February, he threw a lit container of flammable liquid at a group of people standing on the southbound one train platform at the West 28th Street Station. No one was hurt. This crazy stuff happens every day. Like, that's awful. I take this train a lot. For his recent alleged crime, 49-year-old Taylor was caught near the Holland Tunnel and now is facing charges, including attempted assault, reckless endangerment, and arson. And for commuters who have no choice but to use the subways. You just have to be alert and keep your eyes open. We're in New York City, and we're just, I feel like we're risking it every day. Police say the victim is recovering at New York Presbyterian, and thankfully, he's expected to survive. In Hudson Square, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News. Now, there you have it. Right there, 49-year-old Niles Taylor. Say he's homeless and he suffered with mental issues and so on. And I noticed, too, a lot of times, you know, and I don't doubt if he suffered with mental issues, but me, like I said, it goes back. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's spiritual warfare out here, um, people. Spiritual warfare, all your family, and you got to be aware of your surroundings, of where you're at, what you're doing at all times. And I notice a lot of people be on their phones constantly. They don't be paying attention. They're walking down the street, but yet they're looking on their phones and, you know, scrolling down and seeing what's what and everything. But it's important that you be aware of your surroundings because stuff like this happens every day. Unfortunately, you know, and people get hurt. Now, they say this guy, you know, is being charged with several things. Uh, but I feel he should also be charged with attempted murder because what if a person burnt to death? What if it was too late and nobody put that fire out? That person could have died, you know. Putting flammable liquids on somebody, we don't know if it was propane, if it was gas, or if it was lighter fluid. But he was homeless, but he was able to get his hands on it. And um, and he did what he did. Thank God that the um, other person, you know, that he did burn survived. But then he threw it in a crowd of people before. So that's why you have to be aware of your surroundings. We got to keep our nose out of these phones and stuff so much, you know, and pay attention because it's going anywhere and it can happen it, so randomly at any time with anybody because this is not the only incident 
that happened where somebody had randomly did something to hurt another person. Some cases, wait a minute, there was, um, what was that, a man walking and somebody randomly came up and beat him up. He was walking his dog, an elderly man, put him in the hospital. Thank God he survived, you know, and, um, and other things, you know, other um, situations, just like, you know, you got crazy folks like the lady, you know, you know, the dude had, you know, through his um, fluid substance, you know, from his body, you know, onto her back, you know, and everything. And I'm being clean with it. So, you know, you still just have to be aware of your surroundings. Be aware. Don't let your guard down. With me, I'm looking all the way around. My head doing a 360 turn. I'm looking back and forth. Not being paranoid, but using wisdom. Using wisdom. I'm not living in fear, but I'm just being watchful. Hey, that's what he said. Be sober and village minded because the devil, your adversary, the devil, is as a roaring lion that means he's not the wrong lion he's as a wrong lion seeking him he may devour so you got to be aware of your surroundings and number one be prayed up at all times always be prayed up and um like i said make sure that you know you pray over your kids pray over your family pray over your loved ones your neighborhood you know, because of the fact, the times that we're living in, it is the perilous times. And that's what we have to realize. Can't just let your guard down. Can't let your guard down these days and times because you never know who's in the midst of you. And like I said, the devil is about. And the Bible tells us he's as a roaring lion. We know who the lion of Judah is. That's Jesus Christ, he's the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the lion, the devil's a counterfeit. But he's definitely trying to use people. And a lot of times people blame mental illnesses. But two is also we do, you know, there is a spiritual battle, spiritual warfare that is going on out here. And that we, as children of God, have to be aware of and we know that you know if we're in the ark of safety god's got us covered you know one way or another you know and hey like i said you know um in the past you know you can't we can't live in fear and we gotta know whose we are and whose we are who we are and who we belong to whose we are because if hey I'm so happen to lose my life or anything, I know I'm gonna be waking up in the arms of Jesus. Bottom line. I'm gonna be waking up and and, and, and hey, with the Lord. So that's why you gotta be ready. Hey, no man knows the day nor the time. Like I said, I'm gonna be praying for um you know, the, the victim that's recovering. I'm going to be praying for other victims that, you know, he, he, he's done this to. And I'm praying for his deliverance because he is sick. And his mind is under attack by the enemy. You know, because, and, you know, so we pray that he gets the proper help that he, he needs. It's your boy, D. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And um, till we meet again in the next video. And uh, I will talk to you later. And I love you. God bless you. God loves you. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Peace.